You're going to meet Akeem, the most beautiful girl in the world. And you're going to meet the people in her life that make her understand what beauty is, challenge her ideas of beauty, and force her to understand that if beauty hurts, ugly must be a motherfucker. So it's based on an African folktale, and I wanted to make sure that I was keeping that rhythm of the African folktale. And I researched a lot about other African folktales and like the ways in which they move and the parables that are in each of them. When I knew I was going to make it very contemporary, I started to think about other folktales and, and other um, the impetus for other folktales. And so, of course, me being American, I started to think about Disney movies. And I was like, okay, if I'm going to merge a, a bunch of these things together, like what can I bring from Disney movies that feel very um, rooted in our understandings of beauty? Like how we as young girls learn how, beauty and what it means to be a princess and what it, you know, all of that stuff. And then knowing that a lot of that stuff is super problematic, how do I subvert it? And so what does it mean to be beautiful and to be black and to, and to want to in, embrace your body, but to live in a culture that doesn't embrace it? And I think that was the bigger sociological question for me of like, how do we, how do we dig deeper into that and ask ourselves more questions about that journey? I'm loving being at Playwrights, but I feel a little fearful because I think I might be getting a little too spoiled. And it does feel like here that they find the play and the playwright and then everything else builds upon that vision. It's so important for young playwrights to be able to give the world and audiences a glimpse inside their imaginations because we're building our aesthetic. We're building our identities as playwrights. And so it's important as our careers grow that every production we have, every chance we have to show the world a new idea, a new corner of our minds, that it is being represented the way that we want it to be, because that makes the next conversation a little bit easier. I really want people to engage in this discussion of beauty on a deeper level than I think we usually do in front of people. I hope that people laugh and they have a good time, that they see themselves representing on stage, that we can see our own flaws, that we can see the ways in which we discuss beauty that can be detrimental in ways that we can embrace beauty that can be conducive. I hope that people leave this play and don't, like the first thing they, they say is not like, where should we eat after this? Grab somebody and be like, I need to talk to you about this play. That's, what, that's my biggest hope is that people don't worry about going to get Chinese food after this. That's, that's, that's as a playwright, that's always my goal.